Okay, welcome to tonight's homework help for Monday night, September 10th, 2012. This is assignment HW051, multiplying and adding integers. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. The instructions say simplify. So we'll just do a couple here. Um, there's a few addition problems. There's a multiplication. There's a multiplication. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, first one here, 2 plus a negative 5. Uh, I know that that the 5, the negative 5, has, there's more negatives and less positives. So I know my answer will be negative, and they, uh, they are in conflict. So I know that I'll end up with a 3 because it'll be their difference. Okay, so let's take a look at a multiplication one here. Here I have uh, 4 times a negative 2. Um, and that, uh, I know I have a positive times a negative. So I realize when I'm doing multiplication that that'll give me uh, a negative. So then all I have to do is think about 4 times 2. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, so my answer should be negative 8. Okay, I'll do one more here from the top. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in this problem here, we have 10 on the outside of a parenthesis uh, of negative 12. Well, that essentially means 10, 10 times negative 12. Well, I have a negative times a positive, I know will give me an answer of a negative, and then 10 times 12 is 120. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the bottom of the page. Okay, here we can read, there are only two integers that have a product of negative 30 and a sum of negative 13. What are the two integers? Well, let's do a similar problem. I don't know if you guys remember the x's from this morning, but um, if I'm given, let's see here. So I'm going to do a different example here, and I'm going to keep this uh, product uh, negative 30. And uh, instead of the sum being negative 13, which you guys have to figure that one out, we're going to have a sum of positive 1. Okay, so you have to figure out what are the two integers. Well, I know that one number has to be negative and one number has to be positive. And I know that their difference, because since one is positive and one's negative, I know that the difference has to be positive. So I know that 5 times 6 gives me 30. So negative 5, time, uh, negative 5 times negative 6 will give me negative 30. And then if I add negative 5, to positive 6, that'll leave me with a positive 1. Okay, So you need to do the same thing we did here, but you need to do it with these numbers here instead. You can use the x if that helps you out, but it's not necessary. Okay, can, uh, stay tuned for the other side. Okay, on this side we have growing necklaces. Every year Matthew makes a necklace for his sister, Jancy. Here are drawings of the necklaces. Okay, so here are the drawings. Uh, they tell us uh, how many beads are made for each year that he's made a necklace because he makes it every year. So the first year uh, there were three beads. The second year there were five beads, as you can see here. The third year there were seven beads. So there is no information here about the fourth year or how many beads were used. Here they're asking us to draw a picture of the necklace for Jancy's fourth year next to the third necklace. So they want you to draw the fourth necklace here. And then it says, how many beads would Matthew need to make a necklace for Jancy's sixth year? Okay, well, that's a great question. You need to figure out how many beads you're going to put on this necklace based on this information here and see if you can follow the pattern. What would be the next necklace that they would use? Um, then, as always is important, uh, you're going to put your answer here, and then you have to show how you figured it out. Without showing it, you're going to miss most of the points on this side of the homework. Okay, So please be sure and do it as best as you can. Uh, thanks, uh, good night, and go Bears! Rawr!